We are in the month of Christmas, but that is also the last month of 2017. True. So we're thinking towards 2018 and the things that are going to be landing in browsers or things we'll be thinking about in that year. So I want you to spend like the next two minutes introducing a subject. You can quiz me about it, and we'll see if we can come up with something that we can actually publish on YouTube. <laughs> right, here we go, two minutes. I want to talk about weightless CSS. Weightless? That is one of the words I said. The other one is CSS. CSS. So CSS without weight. Yes, that is a good reversal of what, <laughs> of what I said. What is weight? OK, so uh, when you write a CSS selector, it has specificity. That is correct. Yes, which if I, I could call weight if I didn't want to risk trying to pronounce specificity oh, again. Oh, so you mean specificity-less CSS. Specificity-less CSS is exactly. <laughs> Can you see now why I went for weightless CSS? Yes. So this is a, a, a proposal that was uh, agreed on in TPAC mm -hmm. uh, in uh, 2017. In 2017, uh, and Leah Veru was telling me about it. And and the idea is they, they haven't settled on a name yet, but it would be something like uh, is in the same way that you oh, would use like, like colon is and then a function. Yes, exactly okay. that. And inside you could put like a, a, a simple selector. Oh, like dot. Foo. So that would make a selector make match without increasing its specificity. Exactly that. So you'd be able to use all of the stuff that you can use outside is or, or whatever mm -hmm. it's called, but it would have like yeah Why? zero specificity. Because uh, this is this is the CSS working group's uh, attempt to uh, meet people halfway that don't enjoy the cascade so much. Oh, I see. Uh, so one of the things that you know the complaints or the, one of the reasons they've seen people go to uh, CSS and JavaScript. Is that this you know, whole just attach it to the element directly? Exactly, because then the, the mm -hmm. model's a lot simpler. So it's can they bring that to regular style sheets as an option, where just things will be done sequentially? Can I use um, child selectors in the is thing? I don't think so, because that was one of the long-standing things that people wanted to that they, if you contain a thing of that type, then style me the other way around or something. No, it would just be simple selectors, but no specificity. Space. We're out of time. Out of time. It's the template proposal from Apple. Oh, Apple template proposal. The Apple template proposal. So what, like, what have they proposed?